Right. Powell. No, we're going to move you forward, Powell. I don't want you hanging back too much. It does mean you're going to be unable to go into Overwatch, but uh, it's a price I'm willing to pay at this Roger. moment. Scanning. Right, Atheist Cat. I could move you down there as well. I could even run and gun you, but I'm not sure that would be the wisest choice. No, I'm actually going to keep you there. I know this is potentially risky, since if anything comes this way, you won't be in cover, but... That really does sound like a, a mutant, though. Right, Evelyn. Let's open that door. What are we going to see in there? Anything terrible? No? Nothing terrible at all? Fantastic, Evelyn. What did you just... What? Did you just hear something? Right, well, okay. Alright, Evelyn, let's get you in here. Right, you've got sight. What can you see? Bunch of sectoids. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, they are just a bunch of sectoids. I could grenade them, probably. Could I get all three? I could. But you would be brought out into the open. Also, Atheist Cat is nowhere near. Ah, oh, that's annoying. But Cerberus would be able to take a couple of them out, actually. Reva King could also move forward. Right, where's Atheist Cat? I really need you to move forward at this point. I'm going to have to run and gun you, I think. Oh, as much as I wish I could get you in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to not, not in this round. Um, okay, we're going to see what we can do with our other troops first. Evelyn could probably wipe all three of them out, but... I don't want to kill all of them. I want to capture one if I possibly can, especially because they've got plasma pistols. So, Cerberus, you should be able to kill one. He is open to attack, so this will put you into... If you don't get a blood roll, fantastic. So that'll give you uh, adrenaline and will also put you in the zone. In the zone and revealed. An 84% chance to hit... Uh, yeah, go for it. If you can hit, you'll probably kill. Oh, no. Never mind. But he does have uh, hollow targeting on him now. Alright, Reva Kane. If I put you here, what will you be able to see? That is the question. Moving. Let's find out. You've got sight on one. 86% chance. Take the shot. Oh my lord, really? With that heavy weapon, you only did two damage to him? Bloody hell. Alright, we're not going to have Evelyn engage. I don't think that would be wise at this point. Move you forward, see if you can get sight. You cannot, that is a shame. Brandy Bear is in reserve to try and deal with the Sactoids, but Atheist Cat at this moment... You are going to run and gun. I can't run and gun and uh, use my arc thrower anyway. So I may as well try and get rid of that one sectoid if I can. 97% chance to hit. Take the shot. If you can hit, you will kill. Well done. So that leaves one left. Brandy Bay. Yeah, I think you may as well get inside. We're not going to go too far away from the rest of the crew, though. And you're going to be in Overwatch. Same with Powell. <sighs> no, I don't think Evelyn is going to go into Overwatch. Who are you going to shoot at? Or are you going to just bail? No, he's just bailing. Come on, Brandy Bear. You've, you've got to hit one of these. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Unfortunately, I did want to try and capture him. But no, no, that was good. Better he be dead than uh, we be dead. Okay, the meld is definitely over here then. So, is it possibly outside? Maybe on the landing just out there. Okay. Reassessing the situation then. Evelyn, what we need is no good cover out there. None at all. Okay, we need uh, someone else to scout at this point. Ravikane 
could get over here. Atheist Cat could as well. Evelyn could grapple up there. But she's got one of the lowest healths. Oh, actually, she's got more than it. Revocane at the moment, so... That said, then, can you not grapple there? Oh, well, that's annoying. I'd really hope that that would work, but apparently not. I can, however, have you run and gun. So, uh, let's get you... Um... Actually, I probably should have uh, done this a different way, really. But, go up there now. Hmm, I may be taking a bit of a risk here. Yes, yes I am. Well, damn it all. And she's done a run and gun, so she can't do anything else. Though she may still be able to throw... No? Well, bugger it. <sighs> well, Brandy Bear. I think we're going to need you down here, aren't we? That was a bit of a poor decision there from me. Evelyn may be about to pay for that. Right, we need everyone in position to take overwatch down here. That includes you, Cerberus. So, you're going to be swapping to your regular pistol. Alright, who's next? Congo. Okay, you there. Atheist cat. We're going to tuck you in here for now. And finally, Ravocane. We want you not really that close, because if you need to rock it, I would like you to be able to uh, rock it without concern for yourself. So, let's get you up here, shall we? It'll be a fairly nice little position, with cover from that side as well. All right, Evelyn is out in the open right now, and this is not something that we want to allow to stand for very long. So let's get uh, this engagement over with quickly, and Evelyn out of there as fast as possible, hunting for the rest of the meld. We could use collateral damage. Ah, uh, no, that will that would consume almost all of your ammo. So uh, yeah, just going to Overwatch for now. We will make. It liberal use of your kinetic punch should the uh, opportunity arrive oh they didn't move I am very very surprised by that but okay this means that Evelyn may be able to make a run she might be able to get all the way to the door in one move without alerting anyone because that should be heavy cover or I could put you here, which would be a little bit better on the whole. Now this should conceal you. There we go. Now you'll get sight on these guys as you run through, but they won't be able to react. Fantastic. You do have flanking, but uh, no real use to it. Now the meld should be somewhere out here, I think. There we are. There's the meld. And you're in a much better position now to take it. Hopefully, we've got enough time on it. All right, Revocane. Out of curiosity, if you were to shoot a rocket over their heads, what kind of damage would you do? Could you even get the shot? You could. You could get the shot. You would take out most of the cover over here in doing so. You would shred them. Only six damage, mind. We could do eight, leaving them with two. These are mutants at the end of the day. They're, they're no joke. Okay, go for the... Go for this, because if we leave them with two health each... Now, this could crit and kill them all. But if we leave them with two health, an atheist cat may be able to f capture one with a uh, arc thrower. There we go. Fantastic work. That has annoyed them, no doubt. Right, atheist cat. I need you close by. Let's get in position. Moving out. From here, would you be able to get to them if on a rush? Yes, you would. Okay. So we would be able to stun... Well, actually, would you be able to? I'm not sure if you would. I could move you up a little bit higher, but there's no cover there. Um, 
It's a bit of a question, that one. Service, let's get you into a really good position for sniping. We'll swap to your sniper rifle first. And then we're going to rush you down over here. So you've got a, a sight straight through from high cover. And you'll be concealed, which is double points. I don't think you get any real bonus from being concealed when it comes to actually uh, attacking these guys. But it's always good to have. Just in case something you don't predict happens. Expect the unexpected, regardless how ironic that might sound. Um, I could move up there, but I don't want to place you in terrible danger. So I'm just going to move you a little bit forward so you've got a little bit more distance whilst being able to make use of your arc thrower. We are going to go for a stun. It is imperative that we actually get a stun on one of these guys. Right, where are you guys going? You're splitting up a little bit. You've got overwatch. That is terrible. Two of you got overwatch. Well, damn it all. That is not good times for us. All right, Evelyn. Oh, we're going to go for this attack first. <sighs> if we open this door, it's going to be pandemonium. All of them are going to get a shot. But Brandy Bay, you have got the best chance of surviving it. Are you going to take a shot? No? Okay, they're not taking a shot because... We've just opened the door. We've not actually moved in their sight. So, we can pick who we want to go for. Brandy Bear, have you got collateral damage? If you do, I might be able to take two of them out with this. Collateral damage does up to two damage. If I can hit two of them and leave the last one for Atheist Cat. Oh, no, I think you're going to hit all three. Yes, no. Oh. Really? That was a bit shit. Hmm. That wasn't good at all. I thought that was going to hit them all. Never mind then. Uh, okay, we want to hit you in the corner there. You're flanked, so this will put me in the zone. Go for the shot. Very good work. And a uh, bit of adrenaline surge there. Now let's actually find out what that does for you. Come back to uh, service, please. Oh, did that not put you in the zone? Was he in cover? Oh, he was in high cover. It's just... No, he was flanked. You should be able to take another shot. Let me just have a quick look. Combat pheromones. Receiving bonuses on aim, critical chance, and movement. Go. Got a 90% on him. Can you not take the shot? Ah, oh, I was sure that uh, you'd be in the zone for that. That is a shame. Well, this could potentially be painful, Powell. I do apologize if it is. No? Ah, thank goodness. All right, go for the shot. This is a guaranteed kill for you. And finally, this is going to hurt, Atheist Cat. And there's, there's, I'm not going to lie to you. It is going to sting quite a lot. But we've got to take some risks now and then. Thankfully, lightning reflexes. Actually, I lied about it stinging. Never mind. You are literally built for captures. This is amazing. Okay, here's your chance. What have we got? An 80%. Please take him down. Ah, oh, yes, he is. I thought he was standing up, but no, he's just glitched into the wall. Thank goodness. That lightning reflexes was absolutely perfectly timed. Well done, everyone. Okay, I'm not going to have Revkin st staying up there. Well, actually, maybe I could have him staying up there. But uh, Evelyn is now free to move. And Evelyn is going to move out here to this heavy cover. Make it so. What have we got? Got four turns on that. This is going all right so far. Could be worse. That was... It wasn't planned, but it worked perfectly. I should have been more aware of Atheist Cat's abilities, though I was absolutely certain that even with a critical, he wouldn't go down. But uh, he would have one pip of health, I think, from a critical. I could be wrong with that, though, because Damage Roulette could have messed that up. But uh, I was uh, banking on it not doing that much damage. 
Now then, we are in position to start making some progress. So, Cerberus, I would like you to move forward. There we go, and you're still concealed, so you shouldn't have anyone attacking you. Alright, Brandy Bay. We're going to move forward, and we're going to have you reload then. Let's get that reloaded. And David Powell. I don't want you uh, out in the open, so... You know what? I'm just going to have you dash through and take up that heavy cover there. Okay, Revocane, you are now very much on your own, and I don't like this. Can you grapple over there at all? No? Uh, that's okay. I am instead going to have you move forward and take up position in here. You're on your own, but uh, you're close enough to the rest of the troops that you... We'd already know if there was something there ready to attack you, so... Oh, can you collect it? You can indeed. Well, that's fantastic. Alright then. I think it's time we find out what's in here waiting for us. We got anything at all? We've definitely still got mutants somewhere. The where is the Where? Where did you hear it? I didn't see! Damn it! I need to know! I think they're behind us. We're going to go and clear out the uh, command module first, and then we'll sweep back if we need to. Yeah. Okay, Atheist Cap on Overwatch. You're not going to be on Overwatch for now. Yeah, they're definitely behind us. That would be a mutant, good sir. In fact, if I place you here, you might even be able to see him. Then take a snipe, uh, sniper shot on the next turn. Yes, there we are. Hello. Hmm. Evelyn would be a good choice in attacking them first. Wouldn't she? If I can put it into position there. In fact, can you get a grenade all the way over there? No, but you'll probably be able to reach them from here. This would leave you out in the open, though. Grenade? No, really? Wow, that's annoying. Okay, well, we'll move over here then. What I don't want is for them to uh, suddenly decide to take a pot shot at Evelyn and hit the power source and then blow her up. So I'll probably have to hold on to that. Let's get you in position ready. If I can get Revocane into a good position, he could rocket over them, hit them all, then Evelyn could follow up with a grenade. Depending on how they disperse. Alright. Powell, let's get you into position up here. Can we get you... No? Yes? No? There we go, there we are. Okay, Atheist Cat's already in position. Revocane is the last piece of this puzzle. Let's get you all the way down here, Revocane. We're going to dash in the hopes we won't be able to do it this turn. It'll be another turn before we can, but... Uh, we are willing to wait if it means that we'll be able to uh, get rid of these guys without taking any significant risk to our troops. Oh, Atheist Cat, you're going to be in Overwatch there, just in case something sneaks up on us. You're not going to do a thing. Except reload your sniper weapon while you've got the opportunity. Brandy Bay, you're going to go in Overwatch as well. Yeah, same for you, Powell. Alright, are they going to move? They are on the move a little bit. Alright, well, at this point... Hmm... Is there any, I don't think there's anywhere I can put you over there. So, I think it's going to be a case of either guesswork, because I could probably get a grenade in the corner there. But I would rather get a rocket in there and shred them. 
So, Ravocane, you are moving into position here. From this position, you should be able to clip them with a rocket if need be. Everyone else is more or less in a good position, but I will bring a few more of you out. Just close enough to throw down some smoke grenades just to uh, cover any potential retaliation if we can't wipe out the whole group. And because everyone else is out here, Atheist Cat, I'd rather you not just be left alone in this room. So, uh, actually, there's nowhere really good to place you. I'm just going to have you dash for now. Okay. Cerberus, you are not going to attack. Ravocane, you will go into Overwatch. You will not attack. Everyone but our stealth troops will go into Overwatch. I think that's just you two now. Okay, end turn. Unfortunately, I suspect they may know we're here now. No? No. Oh, okay. Right, there's all three down there. So, Ravocane, first and foremost, shred a rocket really close, I know. I do apologize for this. And I don't want to get rid of the cover that Cerberus has got, but... I think we're going to have to. Okay, it's not hitting Cerberus, it is now. So, this should work if you don't miss. We need precision rocketry here, Ravocane. Fantastic, we only hit two of them. Unfortunately, I think Cerberus is going to come out of uh, stealth here. Oh no, he's still got that backing him up. Okay. Next, Evelyn with a grenade. To the faces. You will take out two of them, leaving one for someone else to deal with. Okay. Now, who would like the honors? Cerberus could finish him off. David Powell could probably finish him off. Oh, honestly, we could even try and get another live capture. Uh, no. No. David Powell, let's get you down here, because Brandy Bear can get down there to punch him in the face. So, uh, David... This is your opportunity for a quick attack. You might get uh, a kill here. We'll go for the flank. 100%. 20% chance of critical. Please roll good. Not good enough, unfortunately. They're, up. <laughs> They're not backing up at all, you liar. Can Atheist Cat get a shot? No, that was hoping for too much, I'm afraid. Uh, actually, he might be able to get a shot with run and gun. Yeah, I'm willing to do it for Atheist Cat's uh, EXP. I'm not going to get too close, though. Simply because I don't want to uh, get in the way of Brandy Bear needing to attack. 70% chance of critical here. There we go. Well done. Okay, Cerberus. Now, the problem with this is it's a terrible place for sniping. Honestly, it depends which which side the enemies are at, and I don't imagine we're going to get a very good shot in here. But, that said, let's get into position. Okay, there is no combat music, and I wouldn't be too surprised if that was the last enemy on the field. So we're just going to uh, possibly take some risks by moving into position here. It will be fantastic if we manage to do this without taking any damage at all. Not just casualties, but no damage. I would be very, very happy if that were the case. Right, Ravocane, you've no longer got any uh, rocket, so I don't need to hold you back now for fear of having to use a rocket at close range. Evelyn, that's getting you into position as well. Unfortunately, Cerberus isn't in high cover. That's uh, a bit of a shame. I may need to move him a little bit more. Atheist Cat, uh, we'll get you as close as we can. We're not going to engage until we've got everyone in position to breach. Uh, actually, we will move Cerberus over here because that's high cover. It'll allow him to stealth. That's there we are. And finally, David Powell. Let's get you in here as well then. Or as close as we possibly can get you. And anyone who is in a position to overwatch who hasn't got full ammunition can reload. No. Okay, we're just going to have you guys go into Overwatch then. There they are. Okay. 
Right. It looks like this will be the last. It looks like they're on this side of it as well, which is unfortunate, but there we are. Alright, Rev King, take the opportunity to reload. Atheist Cat, you as well, please. And on this next turn, we should be ready to fight. Now, I'm actually going to have you hang back a little bit so you can use your smoke grenade if necessary. But, just on the off chance that anyone comes through that door. In my experience, they never have actually been the aggressors when it comes down to this point of the craft. They've never actually just walked out of there. But, you know, this could be the first time. So, we'll put everyone we can into Overwatch. There should only be two more aliens left in the uh, combat zone. So, we want... High cover. If we run all the way through here, we'll be in very good high cover. And we'll have also excellent view on the whole of the inside of the uh, combat area. Okay. They are active. They are coming straight out to us. Well done, you idiots. Right, okay. Revocane, go ahead. If you can kill him, you can kill him. And he's down. Bye bye. And Brandy Bear could just go in there and punch him. I'm almost tempted to have her do so. But I'm going to give uh, Powell an opportunity here to take a... Get a kill. If you don't kill him, then Atheist Cat could possibly stun. No, you've done the job. It, Fantastic work. No, no one got hit at all. I think only one or two people even got shot at. In fact, perhaps... Yeah, one person got shot at. And that was uh, Atheist Cat with lightning reflexes, so it, it was guaranteed to miss anyway. Two cans of uh, metal. That should have pulled down the panic in that area immeasurably. Well, no, I'm, I'm telling a lie. You can measure it. It should be minimal at this point. Well done indeed. Actually, was that in the USA? If it was, then we didn't need to pull panic down anyway, so... Uh Still, that would have pulled back panic down quite a lot. So far, especially considering the yeah, so am I. So am I. Revokin has got 56 kills now. Uh, Captain David Congo Powell, 14 kills. Very nice. Atheist Cat, 14 kills. Evelyn is up to 40 kills now. That's actually pretty good. And Cerberus is up 44. On the whole, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Ooh, plasma rifle as well. Subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Indeed. Oh, impressive work, indeed. Alien stasis tank, that's damaged, unfortunately. Well UFO power sources, three alien surgeries, four flight computers, five stasis tanks, 20 meld, 29 weapon fragments, which we needed, 176 alloys, 58 illyrium. I don't think we really need those. Mutant captive, two drone wrecks, a cyber disc, five mutant corpses, three sectoids, alien grenade, and an alien plasma rifle. Ah, oh, joy of joys. That, well, it couldn't have gone better. We literally could not have done better if we tried. However, can we now upgrade you, or are we just a little bit shy? We are... Just a little bit shy. We need five more melt and a little bit of money. We are going to be waiting on that. We aren't going to be spending that meld. Though I could get a new mech, perhaps. Uh, it's tempting. Hmm. Two mechs or an upgraded mech? That is a pretty interesting question. I, uh, I'm going to have to ponder over that one. I really would like to see what Brandy Bear can do with that mech when it's upgraded. But we have got a couple of people all prepped and ready for the, uh, the requisite amputations, as Dr. Shen so uh, tactfully put it before. But that is it from me. The rest we're going to have to look over in the next episode, which will be a COVID operation. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you will be joining us for the next. Let me get a shot in there. But until then, and as always, do take care.